stream on my end. Um, hello? Hello? Oh dear. Oh. <laughs> All right. I can hear myself. So that should be good. God. Ah, let me Ah, goodness. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Um, well, I don't think anyone saw that in the clear. So, like, that's cool. That's cool. I enjoy that. <laughs> that should be fine. Peachy King, even. You know, it, it, it's all good. It's all great, even. <laughs> God. Uh. God. Embarrassing, but... Yeah, um... <sighs> so... He said that I just switched it back. Hello, dear! Ah, uh, Scott. How to see ya. But yeah, um, I apparently accidentally started up, uh, Just Cause 4, because I was playing that recently. <laughs> so that was fun. <clears throat> uh, sorry for my cough still, but I am happy to be able to finally, yeah, probably finally beat this game. The only thing we're missing that I forgot to count for. Oh yeah, I should state on the record that I decided to uh, beat Canary Mary's uh, final race offline, or just off uh, stream. Which honestly was for the best, because I found out by watching someone's video that uh, it was still rough on the, you know, original and you know, Nintendo 64. But back then, the Nintendo 64 wasn't perfect with, like, actually, uh, with, like, input, right? So sometimes, you know, for the, the button mashing, it would be like, oh, okay, it would count it as you pressing the button three times, right? Instead of just one. So you had a bit more leeway there back in the original hardware. Again, it was still, like, pretty infamous in its time. But it wasn't... <laughs> hey, Muse. Nintendo 64... Yep. But yeah, it, so it was like... Huh, it was, you know, it was still pretty infamous, but it wasn't... As nearly as, as impossible, or feeling as impossible... As, like... It is now, because... Like, the required button presses for the final uh, races with Canary Mary... Like, because those have, like, they don't have the busted, you know, I'm guessing that, like, Rare knew about, like, oh, the input's a, a bit wonky, so we'll make it, you know, extra tough, or whatever, right? So, like, oh, you need to, you know, button mash even harder. But because on the Xbox Live version of the game, it properly tracks how many, you know, button presses you can do, like, that, that is, is a perfected technology now. Uh, it's just incredibly rough. Like, I was button mashing really hard. Oh, for one, I switched to another controller that I have. And, um, that it's only, like, wired, right? I have a pretty long wire. It's about, like, 10 feet. So, like, it helps. And, like, I can still play, play it and sit comfortably. But, uh, recently I've been trying to use... 
my old, uh, my original controller, right? But, like, uh, the, the wired-only one doesn't have the battery pack in there, so it's a lot thinner, and actually a lot easier to button mash there, so that helped. But also, I legit had to pause the game and wait a few minutes just to, like, not tire out my thumb. You know, like, over stre <laughs> like stressed it or whatever. Which sounds wild, but... Then again, I, like, I also have, like, you know, my... I'm not <laughs> as young as I used to be in my... Oh, huh. Never noticed those little sprites there before. But yeah, um... Done. <laughs> Excuse me, while I read from chat. Ah, Sudamu, so the old busted actually beat the new hotness? Y yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, no, it's like, I, uh, you know... Done. Anyway... I legit had to... Um, uh, great, I need the jump boots. Um, uh, the jump boots. Something. Here somewhere, right? Or... No, there's the jump boots, right? Somewhere? Right? Oh, there they are. But... Oh, there's also a flight pad somewhere. I guess Warren, it was where I was at earlier? Like, legitimately, that's why I went to the part with the water. Look around, you can- up. Oh, didn't mean to do that. You can climb on or whatever. Um... Uh, oh, I okay, guess that's all you gotta say. I was hoping that the cheetah would be- oh, the cheetah may be in here. <clears throat> but, yeah, no, it's like, I- it, it, like, the person in the video was even like, yeah, no, I, it's like, you know, their video was like 14 minutes long, and I was like, oh, why are they 14 minutes long? Because they had to pause just to, like, rest up a little bit, and like, you know, we gave them time to talk a bit more about it, but like... Oh, so I could have gone this... No, I couldn't have gone this earlier. I mean, I might have been able to do something with Kazooie, now that I have her big jump, or, you know... But like, yeah, huh. Might have been able to get it earlier. But anyway, yeah, no, it's, it's just rough. Like, and also, yeah, from uh, what I read last time, if you, like, for, for the Xbox Live version, if you pause the game after inputting, you know, waiting a bit, and then, you know, as, uh, unpause the game, and, you know, mash down on the button, it also counts it, you know, you basically, uh, buffer your inputs. Faster, you know, it's like, oh, okay, you'll accept it. It's like, okay, you're just able to, like, input, you know, the, uh, the X button really fast for some reason, but that's cool. And I think a combination of using both, of just mash as hard as you can, just keep going, just don't even look up, or only look up for a second, like, <laughs> just button mash, and also buffering inputs was, like, the way to go. Totals? No, it... <clears throat> Totals. Five Cheeto pages. Stop and swap. Stop and swap two. All Jinjo's counted for. All jickies, all musical notes, all honeycomb, <laughs> and jam, jam jars also accounted for. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. Thanks for the congratulations, but we still need to get our final cheat. No idea what it is.
<laughs> Pidman. Banjo turned it from a bear into an otter. <laughs> God. Nice. Cheeto! Box? <laughs> wow, okay. Huh. The final of the jukebox. Let's top that off. And... Uh, well... Well... Yep, country. <laughs> grunty... Love Grunty portrait vandalism on it. Great. Did we even use the... these boots at all? I mean, it's fine if we did it, it's just I literally... Oh, no, there's... In Grunty Industries, there's some use, some limited use of them. Also, to reach Mumbo and- oh, and Mumbo and Ter okay, Pidman. I think you use them to reach Mumbo and Pterodactyl, and then he raises stones for the return path. Yeah! Wow. That was the only other use. Yeah. I think I'm gonna turn this off. Cause I kinda want, you know, it's the final, you know, the final leg of the journey here. So I wanna, you know, don't wanna completely breeze through it. Two box hero. Got stars in his eyes. <laughs> Me trying to sing with my uh, voice. Oof. Oh, being in love at six. Oh. Come on. What? Okay. But, yeah. Let's. But, yeah, you know, I have max health and occasionally. The, uh, the multi, uh, uh, honey drops or whatever. I think, what's the fastest way to jolly? I mean, technically the train. But. Oh, yeah, Muse. <laughs> Pseudo Muse, the sound those enemies make sound like cats getting tails pulled. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, jolly. That's what I'm looking for. 
Yeah, it's such a <laughs> it's such a weird sound to hear. Eh, not weird. Oh well, yeah, you know, because it's not a growl or a hiss. Oh, well, it kind of is a hiss, but you know, more of them sounding in pain or whatever. Yeah, it is a bit upsetting. Um, I forgot to turn it. Did I? Is it turned on? I turned on the cheat. Did I forget to turn on the cheat? I might have forgot to turn on the cheat. <sighs> anyway, it's, it doesn't take too long to get back. Whoops. <laughs> but yeah, I was wondering for the longest, like, huh, why do you have two leftover doubloons that you can find? Like, that's weird. You don't really find, like, any more than that. There's not much extra, just the two. But, yeah, it's the two need for the jukebox. No, oh. oh, okay, it does sound like a bit more of like an angry little growl, but it does kind of, unfortunately, remind me of, like, yeah, I can see that, of being a lot like a cat gains tail hold or whatever, or something like that. <clears throat> God. No, I, I feel like this makes sense, that the final cheat is just, you know, just turn on the jukebox. Still love that you get attacked immediately after leading er, leaving there. Very fun. Uh -oh. Not to chat a little bit while you know we get back to uh Jolly Rogers Lagoon. Um, here it is. Like, recently, they invited me, like, oh, hey, we're gonna run a game of, uh, you know, of, of Starfinder. And I'm like, cool, cool. And I've been, like, reading the rules through it, you know, the character options, trying to think, you know, things through, and, like, oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy, it sure is... No, it, I guess looking through it, I kind of got reminded of someone I knew once describing uh, Pathfinder. It's like, you know, I was trying out, um, it was a game of 3.5e that, you know, got converted to, like, 2.5e. But she was like, oh. <laughs> 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 No. Huh. I mean, it makes sense that a lot of these tracks are just different arrangements, but it's just funny to just be like, it's all arrangements of the same track. <clears throat> um, and no, <laughs> to go back to this, or to, uh, to e. No, this is pretty cute, and also, yeah, Sudamuse, uh, Sudamuse, just giving the whole playlist of the game to choose from is always my favorite, my favorite bonus thing. Oh, Near Not uh, Autonoma had the same thing, that was so good. Oh, wow, that sounds really great.
Like, I really love the music from uh, Nier Autonoma. Like, I haven't played it yet, but just the music is incredibly killer. And yeah, like, I remember uh, when I was a young girl, just like, Sonic Adventure. <laughs> Thanks for the spins, Jolly. Um, you know, Sonic Adventure 2 would have, like, you know, everyone's themes, you know, uh, different, you know, background music and tracks you can just play, like, in uh, one of the menus. It was great. <laughs> Pidman, Lava Aquatics is such a silly concept. Yeah. Uh, see the muse, all the different arrangements in that game are fun. Oh, yeah. <coughs> nice. Uh. Alright, let's listen to a few more of these tracks and then yeah, let's go hit up the final level, Cauldron Keep. It had uh two gates, uh two uh Master Jiggy Jiggy Wiggy gates or whatever. Like, and the first one to even enter the place. <laughs> and then it had another one that you had to unlock, which I ha hadn't seen yet, but I'm guessing it's like halfway through the level, or for the final boss fight or whatever. Oh, Tsutomi is also one of the only games with the soundtrack made me tear up. Oh, yeah, no. Just. So many of those songs are really, really beautiful, and I know I think one song that plays towards like one of the endings is just really impactful. Really adore it. Ah, man, I don't, I don't really have the money for Near Autonoma. Well, hopefully in the future I can definitely get it. That'd be great. Oh, no, I guess real quick. Let me see. Um. Wait, sad aliens? I almost forgot about that. Happy aliens. Chewing with the fishes. Lord Woo Fuck Fuck. No, I think that'll be it for now. Oh, it doesn't cost any of the balloons. Oh, you know, that makes sense. But, I thought that'd be a funny use for it, that you paid the two doubloons and then you just see the jukebox. <coughs> but yeah, let's hit up the final world. Level, world, level, whatever. No, I guess since this is the final world, I'll be heading up. One thing I've been thinking about. Um. Wait. Is there jump boots somewhere? <laughs> That's... <clears throat> I think there might be. I'm not sure. Let's check up here anyway. <clears throat> oh, stretch. All right. I'll take a quick stretch. Thank you, Mies. <coughs> also, ah, could you stop whistling at me? Okay, how do you get up there? 
I got up there before, I forgot how. How did I get up there? Hmm. <clears throat> See what I mean? You're welcome. Always need a good stretch before it's the final world. <laughs> oh, the climbable pipe. Yeah. Wait, which pipe? That one? Oh, okay. That pipe. Where's... Where's the boots? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, wait. Pidman, the combo pipe, backflip to it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think I did backflip to it, but just this time... It didn't seem big enough for some reason, but, uh, yeah, this works. Oh! Wow. 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 Yo, way to go, me! Here we are. Cauldron Keep. <clears throat> huh. Wait, do I have to go through and... Alright, sure, fine. <laughs> Timmy's are... That... That works too. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. No. Ah, did I have to try? Die. <clears throat> ah, not seek your entrance, just the entrance at all. I agree with you, Pidman. Oh, poor Klungo. What? Oh, 
Okay. I was trying to see, like, is there a trick to see which one's which? Doesn't appear to be. Is it just the center one each time? Wow, I wish I kept the, the damage. Wow, I love blowing myself up. Wow, okay. <laughs> hmm, maybe I do want the... The, uh... <laughs> the regenerating health. Uh... Huh, okay, now I understand why they put it in the game. I bet some playtesters had some problems with that, and... Pidman, there's a trick for sure. Oh, okay. Uh, Pseudomuse, Klung has got the greatest throwing arm. Ever, yeah. God, it really tracks, like, where I'm going to head off really well. And I feel like I don't have enough time to just... There. Going for the center one, basically. Also, because he knows he kind of tracks where I'm going. Mm. Wow! Mm. Great going, <laughs> jump. Ah, of course, a self-depreciating de game dev joke. <clears throat> anyway, uh, Sudamuse, Klungo got- oh, oh yeah, I read that. Uh, more distance between when he throws and then where you are equal more time to dodge. Oh yeah, true. Uh, where- okay. And Pidman, Klungo is indeed a game dev in Nuts and Bolts, by the way. Oh yeah! Ah, huh, that's funny. Oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> Tower of Tragedy quiz. Okay. Very shapely, okay. Sure. One gets tunned. Oh, 
opened the Coliseum. Long stand. Uh, fuck. Dunt. Oh no. Foggy's kids. Uh, soggy. Foggy. Fuck. <laughs> How am I forgetting all this? Oh no. Is up. Soggy. Uh. Children, thank God. Pterodactyl land. Fuck. Okay, thank God. <laughs> Fuck, I press down. Or without thinking, just it. Uh, fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> uh, that's worth the one. Yeah, run out of fuel. Master Crafty Shaman in the first year. Bumbo, like, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. This. I can't pause this, so sorry if I'm not reading chat. Fuck! Um, but yeah, I agree with you, Muse. <sighs> uh. Anyway, to read, uh, see the Muse, I feel like this is. Uh, less about getting them all right and more like something else can manage quickly. Okay. Uh... No. That's... Uh... What, oh, what didn't you see? Okay. Nope. Oh, okay. I'll just automatically answer that one. Uh, donuts. Gosh. Rude. Well, not too rude, but yeah. Oh, she just gets the answer. Alright. 
I think it's Jet Force Gemini. Question. Okay. Uh, and uh, <laughs> the scene was well done so far. Thanks. What did Kongo say he was going to do as a new career? Make games. Oh, 15. That's what we Less than ten, more than nine. Two, three, four, five. Oh! Fuck. In the Mayhem Temple? Levitate power summon? In the temple. Alright. Cut back to points. Skyheart. World 8. Cloud Cuckoo Land. Cavern. I want it. Say nine. What? Okay. Well, screw me. Brain dance. Punch cactus of strength. an area, crystal caverns, oh he's dead? Oh fuck, I thought the crystal caverns was what, alright, well I still have time, Chomposaur's belly, and, uh, ulcers, it was really gross, Ted, magical castle, skull, Uh, did they not have the pool of filthy? One of them had three arms. The uh, what? The scurvy sheet. That's no name. Oh. Uh, pork chop, hot dog, sausage, a fish. 
Yep. Hot dog. Uh, jelly. Fuck. Why did I answer that one? I should have skipped. Uh, how many high school fall from the nice little girl in the room with Hellfire Peaks? Uh, ten. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> oh. Well. Uh. Well. Rip. Well. Do I have to do that whole thing over again? God. <laughs> uh, yeah, Pidman, if you don't know, skip. LOL. Uh, Tsunami is dang. Those are tough. Definitely worth skipping the how many questions. I mean, I know some of them, but I was surprised. Oh, okay. So I don't have to do the first or second rounds. Thank God. In Witchy World. Fuck if I know. <laughs> Just straight up, I don't know. Country into uh, the vents. Redlets, blinkers. Oh, God. Alright. Uh. Target shoot. Uh, knock his teeth out. He's really mean. He has an, an, an area. Generator, air conditioning plant. Boiler plant? Oh, okay, well, I didn't answer quickly enough. Big top entrance in the witchy world. Going to the grillage. Make it the well. Dodge foggy. Fuck it's soggy. Uh bottle side trash can? Oh, this is skipping. Uh red spread. Orange and yellow. Self-core anglerfish. Where are the electric? <laughs> Fuck, it was... Wow, okay, I completely... Bo bon <laughs> boggled that one. Uh, lost the glare culture line, right? Partner. I think that's also three. Uh, how many broken what's? I didn't read the full thing, so... Uh, skipping. Uh, Jiggy and the Cheeto page, burgers and fries. Yep. Oh. Mrs. Bottle's first name. I, I don't know. Ha <laughs> ha 
Gun chamber. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Too amused. Banjo shoots uh, Grunty in the face with a rifle? Not a clickbait. Gah. <laughs> Goodness. Please. If anything, it'd be Kazooie grabbing the rifle. Kazooie going to Kembo uh, submachine guns. Like in any respectable action movie. God. Let's take a moment to close some curtains <laughs> during this. <clears throat> Pidman, Kazooie is the rifle. Tsuda Muse, Kazooie dual wields cats. If Kazooie could have it her way, she would dual wield cats. She would absolutely be ruined to and shoot. Just all the time. God. <sighs> no, a part of me wishes they had done another gag instead of just redo this one. But you know what? I can kind of appreciate it of like what they're going for. <laughs> Pitman. Rude and tootin', yeah? That's, that's how Kazooie rolls. See the muse, 2D the rudiest. Yep. Also, you know what, just a reminder, Bottles fucking died at the start of this game. And we have yet to tell his family that he died. Solely because Banjo was like, hey, Let's not? Like, I don't know, this seems kind of awkward. K Kazooie was like, Hey, like, Banjo, we should, like, like, you know, like, when you try talking, like, when she tries telling his wife, like, oh yeah, Bottles died. You know, Banjo, like, tries to, like, you know, play it off or whatever. Kazooie's like, hey, we should tell her. Like, it, you know, this isn't, you know, she deserves to know, and, like, you know, Banjo's like, well, you know, it, it, I mean, like, do we have to tell her, like, right now, right now? Can't we, like, you know, maybe there's a better time to tell her. And it's like, man, why? <laughs> also, shout out to Lora's, uh, full map of Hag Isle. I guess sans hags because we're we're kind of killing them all. I mean, technically, you know, <laughs> um, Gruntilda, you know, killed two of the three hags that were living there because they didn't win her death game. But yeah, uh, rip bottles. Thanks for, uh, teaching us how to use moves. <laughs> but also, shout out to 
to his like cousin or whatever, cousin or uncle or, or brother. Jam oh, well, then again, Jam Jar is like yeah, the weird drill instructor. He's also rude. But he had some fun animations. There's some fun moments with him. Sorry about that. Done. Ah. Also, now what? Uh, Sudo Muse. Also, why did the sisters agree to stand beneath one ton weights? I'm not sure. Honestly, I thought. Uh, my guess at, at, for a second was like, oh, do the sisters have like fake weights? Like, if it does drop on them, it, they just like a lever, or, like a like they're on a platform that just sinks like into the floor, so that they don't actually get crushed. If that would make sense to me. But yeah, soon was like, uh, yeah, why did they agree to stand beneath one ton weights without some sort of trick? Yeah, no, I have no clue, because they're just dead. They were introduced in a hour-long cutscene at the start of this game. Which is still bonkers, because it's an hour-long cutscene. It, for a uh, Nintendo 64 game, like, that's a big investment of resources. <laughs> and then they just get crushed. And no, it's you're right. It's a very silly game. Hello. <laughs> God. Ah. Can't believe we beat Banjo Kazooie to Banjo Tooie. Uh, excuse me, I'm gonna mute the mic a bit so that I can blow my nose. Hydraulic press these witches. Yeah, I didn't read what the other thing said. I saw blow. I didn't read what the other button said. Oh yeah, because it sucked the life out.
than Min Kazooie holding bottles on life hostage. <laughs> well, yeah. God, it's... it's playing the song. Press the control in a bit. Yo. Okay. <laughs> Banjo, just wanting to skip out on the final boss fight. Uh, Pitman King... Jingo's bling. Yeah. No! Oh. Hello! Top off. Thank you. Ding pot. <laughs> yep. This is what I need to unlock with having enough uh, chickies. I think it was only 75 or 80 or something. <clears throat> yep, we have all the chickies. Let's go. But this giant hag one, monstrous mechanical mud muncher. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh! <laughs> Hello, Indigo. The Banjo-Kazooie fan battle is much better. You know what? Uh, I'm willing to give this a shot, so let's... <laughs> Hopefully it's decent. Ah, Cinemuse, I love the GB sticker on the back. Oh, nice. And Indigo, I was so sad about this end. That's not good to hear, but let's give this a go. <clears throat> a Pidman, Great Bit Britain confirmed to exist. Tragic. I didn't read what she said. Oh no. the name of my spell, uh, my name sold backwards. Yeah. Oh, thank god. Oh god. Hey, do I just survive this long enough? Probably. <laughs> Suda me this great banjo. Uh, it's so strange about Canary. She had 15 like Oh fuck. Well, I have to die. Boggy, a polar bear. Get enjoy myself so far. Oh. What? What hit me? Oh, the... The fragments? Oh. The name of my cauldron located in the gem chamber. Big bot. Big pot. That speak. All right, this is definitely easier. But like, just <laughs> keep me on my uh, toes, though. And yeah, it does seem like every... I just want some grenades! That's not grenades! The name of Glitter Glitch Mind's first vector, uh... Kondike? Nope. Well, wrong. Faster attacks. Oh god. Well, 
god, I just want some support. Thank you, that's something. What are Banjo Kazooie doing on the Banjo Tooie arcade box? Uh, flying? Ah, I barely got any damage in there. Oof. Uh, isn't it the same speed attack? No, it's even the Um, it might be. I don't know. I'm kind of... <laughs> oh, no. I'm kind of... Like... Well, dead. All right. <laughs> oh, wait for it. Premier's gone to shit. Um. All right. I'll let it wait. Okay. Can y'all still hear me? Mm. My. All right. I'm just. My stream preview had a hiccup. Okay, it's back to normal. I'll, no, tell me when it's uh, good again. Cause, yeah. Um, oh yeah, Dink Bot. Okay, you can hear me just fine, that's good. Uh, Dink Bot. Or Dink Pot. Thank you. For the magic of refill all uh, items. You know what? Let's try this. Hmm. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, Sudamuse Pitman. Uh, is your you know is everything fine now? Very good. Alright. Then let's go. But, no, what? Yeah, in the gun. You, you're onto something there with, like. I don't know if it's actually changing the speed of the attacks at all. It's hard to tell. I haven't missed the answer get home. My train. I mean, I think those lasers definitely were slower, actually. Uh, which only have one member. Wait. That said, I do kind of wish it was a bit more exciting than just trying to aim up at her, at the cockpit. At, well, you know, while she's just in the center. Like, definitely, that could be, like, changed. Okay. 
Alright, this does two damage. Alright, so yeah, stick to the fireball. Or fire eggs. Uh, what was the name of the Gwetigult Mind Protector? Gold Bar Brian? Nope. And Sudamir is the only. Oh, yes. Yeah, trying to run me over. Uh, Sudamir is. The way in which the auto aim turns to being flat, you're always fighting the controls rather than, you know, having direct one to one aim. Yep. Gotta love, uh, Goldeneye or whatever. Whatever part of their engine, <laughs> you know, affects that. Because God, having to fight it is always worse. When I got here. Well, okay, that is faster. Oh wait, no, I think I got it actually. I think I need to put the uh, eggs in the tailpipes or something, maybe? Because they're, you know, blowing out fumes. And, you know, in the real car, plugging up the tailpipes is uh, very bad for it. It's very not good. Or then again, it's the center that's blowing out fumes. Come on, slow down. I don't know if it's because I played through Banjo Kazooie or not, but I feel like I'm much better at this boss fight than was the original Banjo Kazooie. Like, it was really fun, but also it was pretty tough. Yeah, I did manage to block the entrance with myself. Love it. 
<laughs> Alright. It ah. Okay, it took a bit, but eh, that wasn't like too impossible to figure out or anything. But like, I don't mind. Uh, I had five members. Okay. Well. Zanga. Stop her like big, like girl. So it makes sense why she stays married, but yeah. Nope. Cyanide and mustard gas flavor. God, wow. Thank you, Roy Steve. Shout out to Roy Stage, the, the secret MVP of his entire playthrough.
<laughs> Rip. <laughs> hey, yep. There's still a piece of left. <laughs> Can't believe we took too long in the boss fight. Hurry's over. Time for a kick about. <laughs> a kick around. <laughs> Pidman, time for a kick about. Pseudomuse. Kick around. Very British. God. I love how everyone's good at juggling. What's up, pal? Have fun? Also, yeah, I see the muse. That is incredibly morbid that her eye fell out. God. We did it! Wait, I think there's something I unlocked from uh, getting all the jiggies. I think it's from if I go here? Cinema. I think I remember Jam Jar saying something about getting something bottles and jingling restored, correctly defeated. Ah, the character parade. Is this what I get? No? This wasn't No! Okay, yeah. This is what we unlocked. Oh, no, Pitman, this is where things pick up in nuts and bolts. Huh. Oh, yeah. With her being defeated just ahead. You know, go pass. Of course. Ah. <sighs> 
Like I said before, I still wish they didn't just like, ah, oh, well, we just slam dunk the various digits cultures together. Or laugh. Bully and Bill. Yeah, that was the name. <laughs> Bully and Bill and Delberta. His very tiny wife. Hey! Her! That treacherous woman. Old King Cole. Yep. I remember enjoying that boss fight some. At the very least. Let's see the muse. Look at all these lovely furry friends. Yeah. Love it. Uh, I hate all the fat, fast food workers in the carnival. They're just like, oh, we're gonna make it as gross as possible. They're just like coughing and sneezing all over the food, and it's like, did you have to do it for every single one of them? And it's it's him, the saucer of peril. And poor Mr. Patch that we just kind of killed. We didn't really need to kill him, but he was like, no, yeah, I'll be a boss fight. And then it's one of the two homo. Home of sexual. <laughs> this game. Ugh. No pass. But. Uh, oh no. Love that rat. Oh wait, I remember. What? For Jolly Roger. And Maggie, I remember the term I used was Rare's home of, like, home of phobia or something. No, okay, I forgot the term I used, but yeah, they sure were like, uh huh. They gave people funny. Captain Block Guy. Oh yeah, he was supposed to be a uh, star in his own game, but uh, that never happened. Oh, that was it. Uh, Pitman in chat. Blackbeard's game turned into Star Fox Adventures. And it had the egg thing. I thought until what Junior was. Yeah. Chris P. Bacon. God, that... The first time going against Lord Wufak Fak was, like, so... kind of concerning. You're shooting... You're shooting it... and it's, like, boils or whatever, and, like, blood is... red blood is coming out, and it's like... Huh, nothing else in this game bleeds. Ah, uh, Pitman, guard egg and center of uh, radial attacks. Bit kind of like crispy bacon, crispy bacon sticky, actually. Yeah. Center of radial attacks. God. Uh. Roddy. Let's share the name. Very cute dino though. Rock nut. <laughs> God. Yeah. <laughs> right. Stomp. Stomp. Stomp on. That weird. <laughs> that weird encounter. The man himself, Terry Dactyl. <laughs> Is 
been amused. Those dinos were adorable. <laughs> yeah. Skivvy. Baldar. Saberman. Uh, no, I tried playing that from the uh, the rare replay. I was very bad at it. Also, uh, Alpha Alpha Dead. That's cute. Beta Dead. Alpha Dead. Alpha Dead. Beta Dead. Either cute. Logo? Oh yeah, Pseudomu's Logo. You forgot about Logo? That was from the first game. Yeah, that looks like it came right out of Conquer. I think that's like part of what they're thinking of. Also, Mrs. Bogey with the Nintendo 64 breast jiggle. They were very in the mood. This is. I you know what? I can check the rare replay. But I think, like, the next game Rare made might have been Conquer, like, Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Oh, Pippin! Logo shows up in Nuts and Bolts too. Nah. Uh, <laughs> looking respectfully at Miss Bogo. Miss Bogey. Yeah, Mrs. Bogey. Oh no, Mildred Ice Cube, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry the game demanded that I killed you for progress. Chilly Billy. Chilly Willy. George Ice Cube, also sorry for the murder. To amuse. The Chili Twins have kind eyes. No, you're right, they do have kind eyes, surprisingly. And Pidman. Chili and Chili. Two peaks of doofuses. Yeah. Just really wanted to get their delivery. They also just fired uh, element, you know, like, uh, basically artillery on the entire map. Ninja Jungle. That fight was actually tough. Like, he barely gives you time to react. Peggy. You know what? There's actually one more thing I need to check. Once this goes through, you're gonna want to see something, or it may unlock from uh, nuts and bolts or something. Because there's something in Master Jiggy Wiggy's or whatever, uh, like temple, where it's like, ah, oh, once you have uh, attained something or whatever, you know, this page or this. You know, we'll display something in this wall or whatever at various parts of the walls inside but like I thought getting all the Cheetos or Gale the Jiggies would something but no that's not it so I wonder if this unlocks something there honey bee yeah <laughs> I assume he was glad he enjoyed honey bee that's Rory Steen? They... they ate Rory Steen? They ate Rory Steen? And yeah, it's in the music. Oh yeah, they straight up had Donkey Kong Boy. Yeah, gosh. King Jingling. Where yeah, they ate Rory Steen! The... the... MVP. And Toots. Oh, Love Toots.
And yeah, Benjamin Rip Royston. Royston. God. Royston was the MVP there with like, oh, haha, now you had to hold your breath. And it's like, oh, I'm, I'm good at that actually. Suit me is the naked mole rat that is toots. Yep. And yeah. God, can you imagine if uh, Quintola wasn't skeleton and they're like, we need to give her jiggle physics. <laughs> she, we need to have <laughs> Quintilda resting boobily down the stairs. Just that all time. I'm very glad that someone at Rare was able to hold themselves back and not do that. Oh, why is Kazooie a bird? As we all know, she's ascended to dragon form. But, but yeah. I guess before we wrap up... Let's go check that out, and thank you, Pin on the congratulations! Uh, where... Where was I thinking of being? Okay, I remember now. Oh, wait. Pseudomuse. Uh, also, is Banjo wearing a shark tooth necklace? Yes! Uh, never noticed that. Yeah! <laughs> it's really easy to miss. And then next week, Thursday slot. Game in the future? I am not sure. I was hoping to do Out of Wilds, but I don't really... Unfortunately, I don't think I can uh, afford to get the, uh, the DLC yet. So, probably get to play a game I do own. Oh, when Small Fortunes. Okay, we're in the... Okay. So I'm guessing this gets unlocked from Nuts and Bolts. Or, playing Nuts and Bolts unlocks something here. Um, I guess, you know, while we're vibing here... Like, I guess, you know, this is a good time to talk about it. I could... Oh, how much is the DLC for Outer Wilds? Like, 15 bucks, but... I have, uh, a case of I have no money. So, yeah, um, oh, gosh, love money, love, no, I can't even say it sarcastically that I love money problems, like, no, that just sucks. Oh, yeah, this entrance. But, yeah, um... Uh, Pidman, witness, uh, the witness environmental hunts until cash can be wrangled. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do thumbs for a Thursday thing. Oh, I still need to do the challenge. I still, at some point, want to have a, quote, movie night of watching some of the, uh, things there. Um... Of, like, watching- oh, not the things, but the videos that you can unlock. <sighs> but, yeah, I guess more importantly, though, is beating the challenge. Because, like, I honestly want to be able to beat it. That said, because, you know, it is a test of skill in a lot of ways. But that said, it does kind of blow because of how strict the time limit is. That like even the uh, the person who held er, who holds the uh, you know the world record for uh, completing it on the PC, you know, keyboard and mouse, which was like one minute something second, seven seconds, I want to say, which is absolutely bonkers. Uh, she was even like, oh yeah, no, it took years to get the uh, the world record down to like two minutes and then under it or something. Alright. Also, The Apprentice of Honey. 
<laughs> but yeah, you know, it's it's a kind of fun challenge. I just wish the time limit wasn't so harsh, and also that <laughs> it didn't drop two puzzles at on you at the very end of the maze. Like, oh, you got through the maze part of uh, the challenge. Well, there's actually these two pillars that had no markings on them whatsoever that are actually puzzle panels that light up at the very end. Have fun. And it's like, oh, that's insufferable. Thanks. Thanks, Johnny Blow. I 100% I blamed that on... Excuse me. On Jonathan Blow. Just... Like... You know... I know there's other people that worked on it, but like, he he did have a big hand in working on the game throughout. And also, he's kind of obnoxious. <laughs> Which is a shame. Ah, can I do... <laughs> Great, just talking about the witness of the Banjo stream, but like, uh... Yeah, no, I... I do want to get to the challenge at the same time. Part of me worries about like streaming the challenge, just for the fact that like it does take a like oh, because I do it once a week. I feel like you know I had to catch up again on the uh, the progress I make. That kind of slows things down, you know. But at the same time, it's something I would want to do on stream, especially since I unfortunately don't really have a way to record it. Or, you know, record it on YouTube or whatever. Which would be nice. I wouldn't have to worry about uh, Twitch claiming that, like, oh, copyright claim on this uh, piece of music. Oh no, it's copyright claim on royalty free music, but it's the performance, the specific performance, a rendition of it that has a copyright on it, which feels like it kind of defeats the purpose of things being royalty free. And you just feel like actually, our rendition of it is completely royalty free. Like, really? Come on. <laughs> me is being sneaky. God. <laughs> Good job being sneaky. <laughs> God. I'll be looking forward to a sneaky surprise. Thank you. Ah. Gosh. But yeah, I think, you know, if somehow I can do out of, you know, uh, the Outer Wilds plus uh, Echoes of the Eye, then, you know, that'd be a great thing to do. <laughs> no, I'll check uh, Kofi after the stream. <laughs> <laughs> if that's her. <laughs> but you know what? I, I don't know what, much more to say. That said, mm, I don't know if I'll have the energy to do a Friday stream tomorrow. I hope I do. But if I do, I think I may do something else than uh, The Witness. Or if I do The Witness, it may be more chill than, you know, just slamming on, you know, just uh, grinding, doing grinds of the challenge. <laughs> Gosh, but yeah, you know, thanks y'all for uh, watching, and yeah, definitely, <laughs> uh, yeah, I think after whatever the next game could be, potentially, oh, bouncy shoes, huh. <laughs> that, yeah, I'll, I'll be, you know, we'll go through another game, and then we'll defeat defeat. We'll get through the final banjo. Ban you know, nuts and bolts. But yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks, y'all. I hope you enjoyed yourselves, and yeah, have a good evening, uh, evening, afternoon, night, you know, whatever it is on the time zone. And again, it means a lot to me to have y'all join in and watch. Really appreciate it. Well...